Babayana. I'm pretty sure you are missing some uh, context over here. So let me explain. A biker contacted me and uh, asked me if I will be willing to help him in a kind of a strange project. He has a special bike, motorbike. It's covered in a fur, beaver fur, to be exact. He didn't explain me why or how, and I did, did not ask him. But let's uh, put that aside. It's just a motorbike covered in beaver fur. And this is the front lamp of the bike. Suggestion was to make it kind of like the beaver is uh, chewing it. So he sent me this lamp, sent me a lot of off cuts and then I borrowed this skull from the hunter. This is the real uh, beaver skull and this is just for the reference. But I'm not sure how much can I stick to it. Because if I would uh, scale this one up and sculpt a new skull on top with a precise, uh, precise scale, it would be huge. Obviously, I will have to go off scale with this, but uh, the main aim is to, to make it look like beaver from the first sight, just so at the one glimpse you would know that this is the beaver head. That's all that, that matters. So uh, wish me luck. <laughs>
I've contacted the client and I've tried to convince him to go with the, just a skull on the lamp, but the client made up his mind and said that he don't want this appearance and he wants it to look like the real weaver had with the fur, with the eyes. Now this project turned into taxidermy uh, craftsmanship where uh, I don't feel very comfortable. I have, I have never done any stuffed animals and it's not something I'm really into. But I have a friend who is actually a taxidermist. He does that for a living and he agreed to help me to finish this project. Now I'm gonna put all the uh, tissue mass on this uh, sculpting sculpture. And for reference, I borrowed uh, a few mannequins from uh, from my friend. I, I will have a rather good reference points out of this. Plus, uh, I borrowed a, a mold for another uh, type of uh, beaver mannequin. And I'm thinking to take it apart and put the real skull inside so I could see kind of like a crosscut, how much tissue goes on top of the skull, if that makes sense. Yeah, so that's the plan. I suppose it's good enough for uh, our next step. It doesn't quite look like the real beaver head, but I, I assume it's because if you would look at the cross section, uh, it's beaver's neck is really fat, and I don't have enough space on the bike itself to make all the wrinkles and all the tissue and fat layers. I have to taper it with the uh, original lamp shape so that's why maybe it's looking a bit odd. So my next challenge is to make this uh, removable and it's a bit of a tricky task. <laughs> 